Hey everybody, Tyson Zahner here. Welcome! Today we're going to talk about what the best, best places are for your business to find leads that actually buy. Okay, now there's a lot of people that can teach lead generation, but I've gotten really good at finding leads that actually buy what it is that I'm offering because just warm bodies aren't going to do us a whole lot of good. Uh, we want to find people that are actually going to be interested in what it is that we're offering. So I'm going to tell you the three best places personally that I found. Uh, I should maybe I shouldn't say places, but uh, the three best groups of people that I have found uh, to target that are the best source of leads for my business. And you can take this and, and utilize it in your business as well. So um, let's talk for just a second. I know a lot of my audience has probably at some point in their business had someone tell them, why don't you start by just making a list of a hundred people that you know, your close family members and friends. Maybe it was an upline trainer or you know a coach of yours or a mentor that said, hey, this is the best place to start. And there are instances of that where I do agree, but the reason why so many people struggle with the make a list of a hundred people approach is because it misses one critical element, which I'm gonna tell you about here in just a second. So when you go out and you, so the, here's, here's why, um, a lot of mentors and upline trainers will tell you to go out and make a list of 100 people you know and start with them. Number one, they already know you, like you, and trust you, right? And so the idea here is since people buy from others they know, like, and trust, which is 100% true, you have one less hurdle to get over in order to get those people to buy from you. But the reason why that strategy uh, misses or why it really didn't work well for me and why I see so many people struggling with that strategy is because it misses on this one critical element called desire. Maybe you've heard me teach on desire before, but so here's the thing. We cannot, if somebody doesn't want what you're offering, it doesn't matter how much they like you, right? And I'll give you a great example. Um, let's say that you're selling hamburgers and everybody you're talking to, even though you're, they're your friends and family, they're all vegetarians, right? If they were all vegetarians, it doesn't matter how much they like you. It doesn't matter how great your steak is. They're not going to buy from you because they simply don't have the desire to consume what it is that you're offering. Now, that's obviously a very overly simplistic version of what I'm saying when it comes to desire. But one of the best trainings I ever read on desire was in a book called Breakthrough Advertising by Eugene Schwartz. And he says, what you have to understand as a marketer, as a salesperson, is that you cannot create desire. Think of desire like being the energy from the sun. You can find that energy. It already exists out there. And then you can channel it towards wherever you want it to go. So if I wanted to take a magnifying glass and magnify that power of the sun to start a fire, I could do that. Scientists took the energy of the sun and they directed it. They channeled it where they wanted it to go into the atom bomb. Well, you have to think the exact same way in your business. And so if you're going to make a list of 100 people, here's my recommendation. Don't go out to that list of 100 people and try to create desire, but rather go out to those people and just simply see if the desire already exists. Don't be a pushy about it because it'll ruin relationships. Instead, look, if there's, a, if there's a desire, great. I wanted you to be one of the first ones to know about this. If not, that's okay too. No big deal. And you move on to the next person. Now, if you're a smart business person, you probably already have figured out like I did in my business that simply having a list of 100 people Eventually, you're going to, if you want to build a big business, now, I, listen, if you just want to build, you know, if you want to make an extra couple hundred dollars a month, you might be able to do that with your warm market and then digging into uh, your, your, your warm markets referrals and so on and so forth. But if you really want to build a big business, you're eventually going to have to learn how to get in front of strangers, cold market, right? And this is why I decided, because I hate prospecting, I don't like talking to strangers at the mall or the grocery store or whatever, I would prefer to have people coming to me, which is why I decided to learn what I call attraction, value-based attraction marketing, okay? Where you put some sort of value out in the marketplace to attract people to you. But the first key to do that is to know who do I want to target that is actually going to be most likely to buy. And right now, I'm going to give you the secret of the three groups of people that are going to be most likely to buy what it is that you're offering. And I'm not going to be able to give you a full description of every group and how to find them, but if you want more details on where to find these people and how to attract them to you, um, 
feel free to click the link in the post description either above or below this uh, this uh, video and register for my free web class. It's about 60 minutes long. It's a simple three-step formula that took me from struggling in my business for over 18 years to finally becoming a top earner, finally getting leads reaching out to me. And today I have a steady flow of leads every single day in my business. And I'd love to show you how to do that too. And what's great about these people is that they've already raised their hand and said, I have the desire for what you're offering. And now all I got to do is just build a relationship with them, but I don't have to be a pushy, icky salesperson like I always had to feel like I had to do with the people on my list of 100 who simply didn't have the desire. So you're probably wondering, who are these three groups of people? Anybody want to know that? Give me some hearts if you want to know who those three groups of people are. And by the way, if you're getting, is anybody getting value out of this today? Give me a few hearts and some comments. I'd love to see some interaction from you. So who are the three groups? Well, group number one, of my favorite three groups to target to find buyer leads is people who have a history of buying similar products and services to what it is that you are offering. So for example, an example I like to give a lot is my dad is an avid golfer. Okay. And so if I came up with a brand new golf gadget that all the golfers were going to love, I would simply go out and I would target the first group would be people who have a history of buying golf gadgets, you know, in the in the recent history. It could be based on uh, their buyer, uh, their their past buying history, which you know networks like Google and Facebook already know, and you can target them based on that. It could be based on what they're searching for um, on their you know on their um, on their Google um, you know search engine or whatever. So that's my first group of people that I I prefer to target, and uh, my second favorite group to target are people who are searching specifically for your thing by name. Now, I will admit this is going to be a small group. This is probably the smallest group available, but they are, you know, maybe what you would refer to as um, uh, like low hanging fruit, okay? If they're out there typing in whatever your product is, XYZ product review, that's a pretty good indication that they're getting ready to buy. They're just looking for reviews or maybe they're looking for the best deal. They're looking for someone specific to buy from who might give them a bonus. Or if you're in a biz op, maybe, you know, you're trying to find people who uh, they might be looking for who's the best team leader, who's going to give me the, you know, the best system for success or whatever. So that's my second favorite group. But I will tell you, you can't, it's hard to build a huge sustainable business for that thing unless like the whole world already, like unless you're selling like an iPhone, right? And everybody already knows what that is. So this is the group. Group number three is my favorite group to target that I, I've i really gotten a lot of traffic from. And it's people who have a problem that your specific thing can solve. So they may not yet know what your thing is. They may not know what the name of it is. They might not even necessarily know that your thing could be the solution to their problem. All they know is I have a problem right? I have an issue in my life that I'm frustrated with or struggling with, and I'd like to solve whatever that thing is, right? And so, for example, they might be out on Google typing in, how do I get rid of my acne, right? Their bad acne and their skin complexion is bothering them. And maybe you have a skin cream that could help them. Well, you need to get in front of those people because they already have the desire for your solution. And so that is going to be, in my opinion, the three very best groups of people to target. Those are the three groups that have worked best for me to find actual buyers as opposed to just warm bodies. Because for me, I'm not interested in warm bodies. I'm interested in people with buyer intent. And if you'd like to know how to find people with buyer intent for your business as well, I'd love to invite you to attend my absolutely free 60 minute web class. You can click the link that you see in the post description, either above or below this video. Put in your name and your email address on the next page. The web class, it's totally free. It's about 60 minutes long. If you like the web class, I tell people to think about it like it's just like samples, free samples at Costco. If you like the sample they give you, you might want to buy a whole box. Well, if you like my free training on the web class, you might want to buy one of my home study programs. And if not, I promise what I share with you on the webinar will not be fluff. It won't be a bunch of theory. It's going to be stuff that you that is actionable, that as much as value as I can pack into 60 minutes, I'm going to give it to you. That way you can go off and implement on your own, even if one of my home study courses is not a fit for you. So guys, thank you so much for being here. I appreciate your time. If you want to register for my free web class, I'll show you a few more details on how to get in front of those people, what kind of messages I use to attract them, where to find them, all of that kind of stuff. So hopefully we'll see you there. If you got value out of this, give me a few more taps of that heart button right now. Give me a few more comments and I look forward to seeing you on the free live web class. Take care. See you guys. Bye.
Hey, thanks for watching my video. Listen, if you enjoyed this video and you want more free training on my channel to help you generate more leads and more sales and grow your business using cutting edge strategies on the internet, take a second to do three things before you go. Click my face right here to subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell below to get notified every time I post new videos and click this video to watch some more free training on my channel. We'll see you soon. Take care. Bye.